Nissan really needs these Muranos gone, you guys. The way that I know, fat rebates are available and a ton of inventory also on the ground. What I wanna lay out for you in this video is exactly what to be targeting as far as a hot deal, whether you're planning on purchasing or leasing. I'll give you some average maintenance and repair costs as well as the average insurance premium so that you know exactly what this Nissan Murano is gonna cost you. What is happening guys? Ari here from Boston Automotive Consulting and in the description below, you're gonna find links to be able to shop around for the very best Nissan Murano deal. Simply plug in your zip, check off your dealers and have them start competing for your business. You'll also be able to shop around for insurance rates, check your auto credit scores as well as shop for an auto loan if you're new here, please consider subscribing because this whole channel is gonna teach you everything you're gonna to need to know so that you can negotiate your best possible deal. You guys, there's nearly 10,000 Nissan Muranos on the ground. They're all 2021s and they're still pumping them out and I guarantee you they will not sell them before the end of the year. Chances are if you're watching this video and you approach a dealership, you may even score a better deal than what I'm about to tell you to go after. What we're seeing right now currently in the United States among all Nissan Murano inventory is 4,780 front wheel drive, 4,515 all-wheel drive. Combining these two together, we're seeing 1,825 S models, 2,170 SVs, 3,150 SLs, 2,150 Platinums. Because we're dealing with so, so many SL models, I've got one picked out for tonight's negotiation guide, an SL all-wheel drive. Mine has an MSRP of 42,810. The discount that I want you to target off of MSRP is about 6%. However, if you can get better, that's amazing. That's fantastic. Getting at least 6% off off of MSRP would land you at 40,250. Nissan at the moment is offering up to $4,500 in rebates in my region. They're also offering a promotional 0% APR at 60 months with a $2,500 rebate as opposed to the whole 4,500. The reason why they do this is because obviously you're gonna be saving a lot of money in finance charges should you decide to finance. If you're paying in cash, obviously take as much as you can. However, you lose $500 in rebates by not financing. If you are gonna be financing, I strongly encourage you based off of however much you're putting down, to do your own calculations to see what makes the most sense. If you're in a situation where you're not gonna be putting anything down, not taking the whole 4,500 and financing at 0% may actually make more sense. If you were to go after 6%, subtract the 2,500, getting you to 37,750, financing that at 60 months would land you at a payment of 629 per month plus tax. Now, as far as some other incentives that are available at the moment, We've got retail owner loyalty. If you received anything in the mail or any sort of offer from Nissan, you get $500. If you're a recent college grad, you get 500. If you're a current member, active duty military, you get $500. And if you've got a Honda, you also get $500. So keep these incentives in mind if you're also trying to get additional rebates subtracted from your final selling price. If you're gonna be leasing, not as enticing as I'd hope, however, it's still not bad relative to the MSRP. It's roughly around 1%, but let's break it down a little bit. Still going after the 6%. We only have 2,600 in my region for lease cash. We've got a residual of 53% for 36 months at 12,000 miles a year and a money factor of 0 0.00007, pretty much giving away the car at no interest. Now, plugging this all in into the lease calculator and assuming that you're only giving just your inception fees due at start, so your first payment, acquisition fee, dock fee, registration, all that stuff, do up front roughly about 1,680 bucks. We'd be talking about 419 bucks a month that's not including sales tax, you guys. Again, that's only at 6% off. If you're able to get maybe a thousand below their invoice price, 
definitely in the 300s on a Nissan Murano. Now I'm about to get to a section which is highly debated online. I know a lot of you Scotty Kilmer folks are probably going to be rating the comment section regarding the transmission, the reliability, etc. However, keep in mind this is assuming you don't have a catastrophic breakdown. What we're seeing for maintenance after the initial warranty period runs up is about 505 per year and 395 per year for repairs after the warranty period runs up. Keep in mind you guys, this is on the average situation. If you have a major breakdown and it costs you a little bit more, I'm sorry, but this is the actual averages for the Nissan Murano in the United States. As far as some average insurance costs, also not too, too bad. Roughly about the average rate of about 13 to 1400. We're seeing 1125 in Arizona, 1540 California, 1690 Florida, 1005 Illinois, 1080 Massachusetts, 2350 Michigan, 1425 New York, 780 North Carolina, 1290 Pennsylvania, 1630 Texas, 810 in Virginia. I want to encourage you guys to use the links in the description below to get the very best Nissan Murano deal. Simply plug in your zip, check off your dealers, and have the dealers start competing for your business. You'll also be able to shop around for insurance rates, get your auto credit scores, as well as shop for an auto loan. And if you found this information useful, please consider subscribing. Thank you so, so much for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.